Yeah, the backstory for my talk was that I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, it was nice to reflect on the different eras of my life and my career and, you know, how I got to be where I am today. Um, and I realized largely it was based on the people that I met and that I interacted with. Um, and so that was a lot of fun. Also finding some old photographs uh, from from way back when of people looking very young. Um, I did I did find a few things that I wrestled with presenting and maybe I chose not to say much about and I'll say a little bit more about here. Um, uh, I was an undergraduate at Caltech and for me that was a very mixed experience. Um, and I would say in part because the gender ratio then was seven males to one female. And it did create a rather unbalanced social environment. And I would say much worse for the women than for the men. Um, so I have to say, I just Googled the gender balance at Caltech and it's very close to 50-50. And I think that's wonderful. I think they've, you know, they've done a, a fantastic job and I would have no problem recommending to a young person to go to Caltech because the other aspect of my experience there was that the teaching and instruction were fantastic. Um, I really enjoyed my classes. The, the faculty put a great deal into them. And I enjoyed the opportunity to do research there, uh, even at a time when that was not, you know, the thing that everybody did uh, as an undergraduate. And also to play sports on teams uh, without that being a full-time job. And I, and I do uh, find it bothersome to see that, you know, people at top universities, including my own at Princeton, spend so much time in order to play a varsity sport that it makes it difficult for them to enjoy and benefit from the other extracurricular activities. So uh, it was really great at Caltech to be able to do that really as a sort of traditional just as a, as a, as a way of blowing off steam and getting a little bit of relief from the, from the stresses of, uh, you know, a rigorous academic uh, environment. Um, the other thing that was uh, I wrestled with was my experience near the end at the NEC Research Institute when um, it was very clear that the that the company was no longer enthusiastic about this lab. They were cutting our budget, um, and uh, people were actually being pink slipped. And I'm not, you know, people who were strong scientists uh, were being cut for no very clear reason to us who was being cut. Um, and there was just this sense of dread. At the same time, uh, the budget was going to zero faster than the headcount was going to zero. So Chow Tang and I actually had more money to hire postdocs. And so we were in this weird situation of having this sort of burst of activity where we had a group of postdocs who were working very hard trying to make this transition from physics into, into biophysics and biological physics. Uh, and also trying to protect the postdocs from the fact that, you know, everything was crashing down around us, uh, make sure that they got their papers out and got jobs and that we got jobs too. And so I have to say, when I finally ended up at, at Princeton and went to my, my first faculty meeting, it was such a relief that I was no longer you know, looking to my left, looking to my right and thinking, you know, and then only, only one of us is leaving this meeting with a job. So, um, but uh, on the whole, again, I, there were, I was at, I was at NEC for over 10 years. It was a wonderful experience overall. Uh, those last few years were very stressful. So uh, that's something I wrestle with.